Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caroline and today's video is going to be about my little collection that I have on inexpensive purses. And I know that everybody is not finessing or scamming or gold digging a drug dealer or a sugar daddy. So I got you, you know? <laughs> I'm just kidding about that. I mean, if you are, kudos to you, but I'm not, so these are my purses that i have that i'm gonna share with you guys if you like this kind of video don't forget to comment like and subscribe to your girl okay so let's jump in um let me name a few places that i like to personally get some cute bags i always find cute bags at macy's backstage um i always find cute bags at forever 21 windsor um, and I feel like those are like my top three, sometimes like Burlington or TJ Maxx, but I'm a little bit pickier in those places because I'm just extra like that. So yeah, let me just jump in with one of these bags. Now, the only thing is I regret the wooden handle. Like I didn't think it through, but let me show you her. I know it's like blocking my face, but this is her. She's so cute. Um, so yeah, so she is a handle bag. There is no strap that comes with her. I don't believe so. Yeah, it's just a bag like this. It has one pocket in the front with a zip and then nothing in the back. And again, the only bad thing is that with this, the, the handle was chipping. So, I mean, as long as you take care of her. And also, what I don't like about it is that it doesn't have a closure over here. So... You know stuff could easily spill out but it is a pretty spacious bag um it does come with this i guess to clip in your keys or something but you know i just have a bunch of mints from chicken festival i'm actually gonna put one in right now if you guys don't mind well i mean it's a video so how would you guys mind tastes a little bit weird at first but I'm pretty sure this bag was like $30 and this material over here is really nice because this part doesn't get scratched up or anything and it maintains its shape I don't know if you guys could tell but I don't need it I don't need to stuff it like my other higher end bags that need to have that kind of structure this one definitely doesn't but I find this really chic like if it wasn't for the handle um, that I could probably take care of it better this is a really cute bag just to like show out like even to run errands um to go out at night like i mean not to go out at night i think it's like a little bit too big but like i don't know if you're going to dinner maybe with your friend and you're not gonna go to like the club because i find this is a little bit too big but yeah she is so cute i love her and again i got her at macy's backstage if you guys were wondering now the thing about macy's backstage i'm not sure if you guys all know it's a separate store for macy's um i have one in like a local kind of mall um obviously they rotate or they sell out of the purse so you won't always find the exact same purse but they usually have like the same ones for like a month or so so that's one my other baby is from Forever 21. She's just so cute. I love quilted gold chain purses. I'm like a total sucker for them because they're just so cute, you know? Um, and this one's velvet. Oh, I had makeup here. I had my Fenty lip gloss. I'll put that on this side. But this one's really small. I mean, it's perfect to go out. And also what you could do is you could do that little trick that I showed you guys before where you can you? Yeah. Am I doing it right? Hmm. I'm not even doing it right anymore, guys. Let me see, let me see. I'm trying to do that little trick. Oh there we go. I was like you could make it like a little shoulder strap the purse or you can make it the long chain one but um there's no pockets in here but you could fit your phone you could fit your wallet a gloss or so and i just love this because it was super cheap i think i got it for like 20 25 dollars um and again 
you have to think about it. If you were to like lose this purse, you wouldn't cry about it, you know? It's $20. Like that's what like a germ costs in the city. But um, this one, again, it's so cute. I love getting purses. Like I love black purses because they're very chic and neutral. But what you can do if you really are like stuck on black is you could get different textures like the croc, you could get velvet, you could get corduroy, you could get like uh, this, um, what is it called, saffron? I can't even think of what I'm saying, the saffron, I can't pronounce it now, but it's that leather, saffron leather, whatever. But yeah, that's my other purse. And then I have this one. Really, really cute. Oh, this one I got from H&M. And again, I like it. You guys can see a pattern over here. It has the quilted thing. This little... Now, the, um, you have to push this to open it like that. And then it does have two different dividers in here. And does it have a zipper? No zipper, but it has two dividers, which is nice. And it's pretty spacious. And I don't know, this is just so cute, guys. And this one's more, like, I feel safer with this. I actually did take it to a club when I went out with my friends. Um, and I tossed her around and everything. And, like, even this, like, you could scratch it. And it's not as delicate as that Tory Burch one that I had. So, go figure. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this one you could also make it into a long kind of chain or the shoulder one, which I like. But this one isn't as gold as like other ones. This one's kind of like that light gold hardware. But she's still super cute. And I was really hyped about her. Like I was I was literally trying her on for like half an hour at the H&M store because I couldn't make up my mind. I was like, should I save my money and buy like a luxury purse or should I just get this? And I'm like, uh, you know what? Let me just get this for now and then if something happens to it whatever you know my other purse which is my latest like inexpensive purse that i have is this one and this one i got from windsor actually i don't think i heard of like windsor before i actually went to the mall and saw it in person but yeah i went in there and i just i was like oh my god this looks like the rebecca minkoff um oh man i forgot the name like the quilted love crossbody or something kind of like the chanel one too and this one is very gold it's like super gold hardware which i know some people i feel the same like it's like a love and hate relationship depending on what you're wearing and like how you're wearing it and what because it could look like really tacky and cheap you know but this one i don't know i think it goes well because it's a nude um and on the back it doesn't have a pocket but you open it and it's really small. This is like perfect to go out. You can fit your phone, your wallet, some makeup, your keys. And again, this is nice because it has a strap for your shoulder so it doesn't hurt. Super cute. And this one I think was like $26.99. So under $30. And I have to go get another purse that I forgot to okay, show you. Guys. So I'm back with the last purse that I have. So this is a backpack. It's not really a purse. But this one's from Forever 21 too. And this has been my baby for so long. Like I've literally worn it everywhere. Literally like every day. Everything. It has like a bunch of stuff in there too. But this one is so so cute you guys. I love her. She's just. She's so precious. So this is the thing about her again we see a pattern i love black quilted stuff i love like my ultimate dream bag is a chanel bag i mean how is that new i don't know i feel like every girl's dream bag is a chanel bag but yeah it's just so beautiful but yeah this is from forever 21 and i'm pretty sure she cost me like 20 dollars. i want to say like 19.99 or something or $21.99 but she has a little pocket in the front and it's really spacious like you you could put your phone here you could put your wallet your keys gloss I have let me see what I have in here oh I have my little contact thing I was looking for this I have my little Chanel one where is the shade oh, here it is 
This is Rouge Allure Velvet 43. I don't know why I tried to sound fancy because I can't. So yeah, it's cute. But you can put a lot of stuff in here. And then this big compartment, look at that. You could fit so much stuff. Like I literally could put um wipes in here. I could put my makeup. I could put chargers. I even fit my um flat iron in here like diagonally. Now, since I've been wearing it every, like, pretty much every day, um, I do see some wear and tear. I'm trying to show you guys. I mean, it's from Forever 21, so, obviously. I don't know if you guys could see the strap, but it's peeling on the side, and then it has, I think, like, a cut over here. But it does have adjustable straps, so Forever 21, I appreciate that. I mean, not that I'm, like tall or anything but you know it just has the adjustable straps if you want to keep it tight if you want it to kind of like lounge on your butt or whatever but oh my god you guys I need to get yourselves one of these because she's my baby she was she's been really good to me I'm still gonna wear her I just feel like she's so chic like it looks kind of like high-end because of the black quilted and the gold hardware but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of my cute little inexpensive purses. Again, um, I think it's nice when somebody can save their money for a dream bag that they wanted, like something that they had their eyes on and they're treating themselves to. But there is completely nothing wrong with buying, you know, cute, affordable purses. I have one of my besties. Um, she literally only shops like at the flea market at rainbow sometimes forever 21 she is like the queen bee of inexpensive and obviously her husband is really happy about that but she's just she knows how to like fall on a budget and she makes everything work so cute and nice so um she definitely rubbed off on me more so but now that we haven't been hung hanging out because of the quarantine I've been spending money like an idiot online so yeah <laughs> I need to reunite with my friends um yeah guys so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time